A rematch of the century. Yeah, Craig, or not Craig. Claren at K. Work at like really good ledge pressure that they've been doing pretty much this entire bracket. Which we really see coming into effect here, really just keeping Yomi off stage and really getting the, a lot of like even on stage pressure too. Yeah. See, Kasura has been coming into this with a lot of momentum, but... A lot of momentum, either. and I don't know of a lot of... I don't know what Yomi's been doing since Winner's Finals, but... Yeah, I Sora's mean, been playing the whole time. <laughs> Ooh, call out the jump there with the up smash, taking that early, early... Or not early stock, but making this game even again. Pointing at Shovel Knight, because as we were talking about earlier, it's, you know, it's what we wary of getting better as the game goes on. And Yumi is definitely an armor first SK. So his survivability yeah, is going to go through the roof once he hits that 1800 mark. Is for sure, for sure. And especially being able to keep the magnet on your neutral B, just to be able to keep getting money, is very, very helpful. Yeah, that's why I was always an armor first SK. I really like keeping that. I feel like it lets you get your full Ooh, stack. That's not going to take it. Yeah. I don't know about that hold up smash. Just buy your, buy your armor, buy your things. Yeah, I think that would be sitting first. off stage. I also think it was just like way too far from lunch. Oh yeah. And especially with Claren, since Claren can just hit it so easily with Uppy, with really just no con no way to like contest it. Yeah, ooh, F strong. No, that's not gonna kill. I feel like we can see a lot more of parrying Uppy from Sora. Parrying uh, SK Uppy. I feel like we can be seeing a lot more of that to just punish Yomi, since Yomi's not really going high when recovering. That's really true. just up being on stage. That being sad. We really, really be like a like a turning point for this. See if Sora can make that happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Coming, coming back with a Doctor Thunder. But Sora at 88%. Not kill percent, I'm but it's scary. I'm gonna leave the Claren nomenclature to you. I'm, I can't. <laughs> so lost. I'm lost and quite frankly upset at the nomenclature. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it is pretty funny. You know, I think that was another Wii Wii read right there, and Sora almost brought it Ooh. back. And with the reversal from Yomi, he's gonna take that first game. Dang, that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, people saying that Yomi's skin is uh, like way too dark to the male. I agree. Um, I don't even notice a difference, to be completely yeah, honest no, with seriously. you. There's uh, really no Sora, difference. I mean, Sora's always free to like control to it. I really, sh I, yeah. I, I really want to think of another way to word that. I've seen Yumi in person. He was in the pool I teared. Yumi is black, so that comes out really bad. But <laughs> unless I'm forgetting something, but I'm pretty sure he is. But uh, yeah, game two here is gonna be on Spirit Tree and already Yumi. Keeping that punish game going. We, and the same thing with what with what I said before with Sora. He's not really going for a lot of side B punishes at like low and mid percent. So you don't really get a lot of that damage because he's not really getting a lot off of parry other than just kind of like one or two hits. Yeah. Like you'll, you'll see him side B when he knows it's going to kill. But I feel like he can get, be getting a lot more even at low percents. Yeah, I think that's that's really scary because like Claren has big hits, but they're so much harder to hit than SK's big hits for the most part. Like especially at this level, it's so easy to just whack them with an F strong as SK, but you're not gonna get the same reward as Claren unless you have like decent precision. That and that's the thing with the side B, it's like when you get that side B punish, you're kind of guaranteeing yourself a pretty big hit. Mostly. 
but like you're at least guaranteeing yourself some kind of follow-up tip like tipper follow-up to be able to get even more like just some kind of percent and just the f smash is gonna take that that's yeah that's how it goes sometimes you gotta be really careful just play nice and invasive it's hard to do even the best of us are gonna get killed by an invincible opponent from time to time You and me pop back on stage with an up special. These anchors on stage, they've been mostly working out for you and me so far. I think it'd be really funny if uh, Sora just did like up strong. Yeah, just ran up up strong. I don't know if it would funny. actually reach, but it'd be really funny. I feel really all we're really just all we're seeing is a lot of a lot of just poking at each other oh and just yeah. like with lunar we see the side b side b's coming out or the side b parries yeah no like i think these um side b's are good oh no oh you oh no oh you can't be doing that now that now now sk is winning Sora. all you had SK to do there was dub step just... dub step that's it just dub step but now we now we see three fourths sk yeah. Because in reality, SK is winning here. Is is winning right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd say it's pretty even, but it's it's still scary. Look, once SK gets a, a something bought versus Claren, the matchup becomes so much easier. Because vanilla SK gets absolutely slaughtered by Claren a lot of the time. More accurately, it's just so hard to win. Ooh, that was very dangerous. Yeah, I was scared. I swear I'm missing those attacks. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, and Yomi's if, gonna take game two as well. If you're a Sora right now, oh no. It is a rough time for the Sora fan base. Alright, we'll see here. And I feel like that stage that was a that was a good stage to go to. Yeah, I feel like honestly yeah, going back there would not be a bad idea. I agree. But I do like this stage pick. It doesn't it doesn't leave a lot of a lot of options from SK just with how wide the platforms are. Because when you're recovering a lot of SKs will like to like mix up like their drift while recovering to be able to be like more like I mean, ambiguous as to like where they're going, whether it's on platform or on stage. But with how big the platform is, it's like it's kinda hard to do that. See, despite that, I do think this is like I said earlier, I think this is SK's best stage, so you do have to be somewhat careful with it. Um, mostly because of how small it is, it's really easy for SK to kind of cover everything. Yeah, like, especially with quickly. momentum now. And like, Claren can do the same, but I think it's more important for SK right now, and like in this matchup, just because normally Claren's able to kind of like outspeed and outrange SK pretty well. I, I like the read. I like that down smash read. You know what's interesting now that I think about it? I feel like we haven't seen very much side special in neutral from Yumi. Ooh! Okay, that uh, almost killed. Yeah. No. Alright. I yeah. wanted the F smash punish, but he made it work. Yeah. Oh, get the money. I definitely believe in Sora here. Oh, it's for sure, tricky. yeah. He, he's he's definitely got it in him to take the to take this game. Yeah. And even take the that. He's just gonna kinda keep his head in the game when he's down. To not like, like get get in his own head. There is a, definitely a part of me that wonders. How do you think? So we're in like good spot right now. I'm wondering. Ooh, very yeah. good downer to steal that stock early. That might just might really just be the kind of momentum that he needs to take this game. I agree. Um, I think one of the main, like, things to be afraid of right now is just... Kiyomi still has those two counter picks under his belt. What is he gonna do with them? Exactly. And how is Sora gonna respond? And that's assuming Yumi doesn't somehow bring this back. Which we can't entirely rule out. And we just, I just... I don't even think I've seen a lot of just... Sharking platforms with forward smash with Claren. 
I haven't really seen that in really any of Sora's game. Oh no. Oh no. I feel that one so hard. Yeah. I am so sorry. I understand. That's rough. And only gets the up tilt and an air, but it's not that much. But we see Sora taking that game. Okay. So we're finally so, making some progress right here. But now we see perhaps that Sora can use this momentum in the game four here. Yeah. Now it's interesting to see what the bands are going to be out here. For sure. What do we got? I feel like FD, FD would be a good one, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely ban yes. that. Tempest? Yes, the perma bans, please. Please, the perma ban Sora. Tempest is an that's interesting my, ban. I think. That's yeah. my perma bans! Yes, Sora. The only one that I don't agree with is Tempest. I think Tempest is a really is a huge waste of a ban on Claren. The other two I think are really good. That's probably what I would yeah, do. Yeah, I feel like especially with Sora like dying to, a lot of times to like poor DI, Tempest really could be a pretty good stage, and making this stage specifically be pretty volatile. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I wouldn't. Especially... I never ban the stage. Never. But. I'm not sure, I don't know, maybe Fire Capital or Frozen. I probably would have been Frozen. Oh, very good way. We see Sora, Sora's kind of got like a, a, like kind of a new breath of fresh air in them right now. Really yeah. keeping Yomi out and Ooh. taking that first stock with very little damage as well. Yeah, that was some like, really good spacing from Sora. Okay, the tilt's here. Not gonna decent amount of damage. And we see Sora really, really taking control here. Yeah. Not putting not putting out too many like panic defensive options. While Yomi is really just sitting there waiting for them. Is really helping out Sora here. Nope. That's and gonna take that second stock too. Yeah, crazy. Sora's really got this game under control. Kind of inching around, really looking for something, but struggling to find it. Yeah, Sora, Sora's really got this game under control because Yomi's pretty much just playing patiently and waiting for Sora to attack when Sora's not teching. Yeah. And, that, and that's the problem that's that he's running into. And a very clean three stock. He, that was a three stock on Yomi. From Sora. Pick. Yeah, and we're going into game five. <laughs> okay, Sora. Yeah. I see you. Sora, Sora, that game was sick with it. Yeah, Sora's kind of sick with it. Now we have a game, pretty much, I think this is the only game five we've seen. Yeah. Yeah, this stream's still been going on for a while, but it's also been like fast sets. That's kind of been the saving grace, I think. It really has. <laughs> No, I feel I feel like in neutral at least Sora might be struggling on this stage, just because in the center stage he doesn't really have a lot of like bobbing and weaving options with platforms. A lot of like Claren approaches from above are going to be pretty telegraphed on this stage with how high the platforms are. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not. I think this is a little bit better for Yumi, but depends. I would not put a fast Sora to actually like the stage because I know a lot of people do. Yeah, I and I'm, the the other thing I was about to bring up was a uh, oh. SP recovering on this stage can be very difficult, just with just dealing with Claire and F Smash, because that F Smash will tip her on that entire platform. Yeah. You just see Sora calling out a lot of Yomi's, Yomi's like jab checks and like just quick like panic options. Yeah, and Yomi's like I think being relatively patient and neutral, but still struggling. Yomi's being very patient and neutral, which I like, but Sora's really just calling it out and real really getting a lot out of, off of it. Yeah. Right. 
really good awareness from Sora not to get up air there. Yeah. Like, I definitely appreciate the patience from Yumi. It's hard. I, just, this is, I this feel is like Yumi, Yumi, for Shovel Yumi really, in. yeah, Yomi really has to speed this game up and stop just like waiting for an option, like waiting for a defensive option when that option's just not coming. I'm wondering, like, I feel like at some of these facings, Bear can really burst down Sora and be pretty much unreactable. I think. But yeah, especially just like how big and how active that move is, like you can it can really mess up Sora, especially in neutral. And like abusing the air dodge that Yomi, like that Yomi has, like literally inv invisible, to just approach with like air dodge up into back air, it can be pretty ambiguous. Yeah. Sora, oh, gets the parry That's though. That's gonna do it, and Sora's gonna take the second stock, and we see Yomi with on the verge of being reverse 3 0 here. Yeah, this is this is scary. Sora's really found his answer. 100%. To, uh, the patience. Near. Not gonna pay off. Dude, Sora's punish game is so on point today. It yeah, especially like it's really improved just over the course of this set. Please just grab there. Yeah, ooh. yeah I. Mm. I don't know, I probably wouldn't have grabbed there TBH, but... Ooh. Wow. And a... Sora, Sora, these last two games was built different. Yeah, the Boots Thunder are going to be sealing the deal. Sora wins 3-2, just barely bringing it back. And with, the, with the reverse 3-0. And pretty, pretty definitive those last two games. So congrats to Yomi for third place yeah, tonight. Yeah, pretty big.